Hailed as a universal language of programming, Java stands as one of the most popular languages globally. It powers popular games like Minecraft and Android mobile applications like Netflix, Instagram, and Facebook. These are just a few popular examples, but there are so many more popular products and applications built using Java. Java's story starts in sunny California at Sun Microsystems. It was developed in 1995 by James Gosling. Not to be confused with Ryan Gosling, aka Ken, just Ken. Although there are some people on Twitter who seem to think otherwise. Now, before we get into why Java is revered as a universal language of programming, let's answer the question you've probably wondered but never cared enough to look up. Why is Java named after coffee? There are multiple different accounts of how the name got picked, but simply put, the Java development team had consumed a lot of coffee during production, so they pitched the name Java as a part of a long list of other names. Since the name Java wasn't trademarked like the other options, they ran with it. Also, let's be real, the other names were not it. Now let's understand why Java is considered a universal language and why you should care. Well, during the 90s, programming languages kinda sucked and couldn't keep up with the rapidly evolving technologies. This is where Java came in as the language of the future, a language that could finally keep up with the rapidly emerging technologies of the time. Java was a product of the Green Project and started off with a focus on interactive television. The Green Project created the Star 7, an interactive handheld home entertainment controller, which also introduced Duke, the beloved Java mascot. Duke served as a dynamic software agent, revolutionizing touchscreen user interfaces. The Green Team's focus on interactive television pushed the need for a language that could accommodate a rapidly evolving, networked, and diverse technology landscape. Java emerged as a solution that fulfilled these requirements, and its design principles and futures were shaped by the demands of this innovative era. Let's go over these design principles and futures. The first key future is platform independence. Java was designed with the primary goal of being a platform independent programming language. This means that Java code can be written once and run on any device or platform equipped with the Java Virtual Machine implementation. As demonstrated in this example, a simple Hello World code that I've written on my Mac can be executed on a Windows PC, an Apple iPad, an Android mobile device, and a Linux machine. This is thanks to the Java Virtual Machine. The JVM acts as a translator between the language of your Java program and the language that the computer understands. It takes your Java instructions and converts them into something the computer can follow. This conversion happens in real time when you run your Java program. The great thing about the JVM is that it's like a universal translator. It doesn't matter what kind of computer you have, as long as it has JVM, your Java program can run on it. The second feature is simplicity. Java was intentionally crafted to be a user-friendly and uncomplicated programming language. Although its syntax drew inspiration from C and C++, it was engineered to eliminate numerous complexities and potential issues often found in those languages. Notably, Java does not include pointers and memory leaks thanks to its automatic garbage collection. And last but certainly not least, Java is renowned for its strong support of object-oriented programming principles as it was designed from the ground up with object-oriented programming in mind. The language's creators aim to simplify software development by advocating a structured, modular approach. And now you know why Java is hailed as a universal language of programming. So what are you waiting for? Go learn Java today and build the next big thing. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe.